All right, first off, thank you guys so much for being here today. We're excited to uh, show you some of the technology that we've been building over the years here today, um, as well as answer any sort of questions that you have around the technology. Uh, we're going to go through a few different sections. I'm going to cover a quick introduction of Pure Storage to start with. And then we're going to dive a little bit into some of the, the uh, cloud-based uh, enterprise management for storage around Pure Storage solutions, uh, and also the platform itself around the Flash Array AM. Uh, just to give you a brief overview of what the agenda will look like here today, uh, we will be uh, doing uh, a quick overview for about 15 minutes. We'll cover Pure One, um, which is our cloud platform for uh, enterprise-wide reporting, as well as the Flash Array AM. It will allow you some time to actually uh, see some demos, um, some of the resiliency tests that we actually do with on, within the array, uh, and then uh, a little bit of playing around with the hardware so you guys can actually touch and feel and see what it looks like. And then we'll do a quick fireside chat with uh, our founder, John Colgrove. So let's just start here real quick. Uh, my name is Chad Kenny. I am uh, the uh, CTO for the Americas. I've been here at Pure Storage since uh, kind of the beginning when we started to sell product. Uh, and and when, when I look at my focus area here, it's really to educate customers about really what we're trying to do as a business and the vision and strategy of the company long term. If you look at where we started as a business, the recipe in essence had four main core tenants. First off, let's make things really, really simple. So we removed all the RAID configurations, tiering, caching, any of the complexities that were built into typical storage arrays were removed altogether. We looked at things very much from the consumer of storage's perspective and saw all the pain points and tried to resolve those. The next was to try to build the most efficient architecture possible store less data, as well as have the smallest possible form factor in the data center uh, with the best possible density. You'll see that we incorporate inline dedupe, compression, pattern removal, thin provisioning, and even encrypt data uh, inline, as well as our form factors are, are to the tune of about a 40 terabyte per usable uh, per rack unit. Uh, so pretty awesome density numbers as well on top of just the traditional um, you know, incorporated data reduction feature sets. We also, from a reliability factor, wanted to focus on making sure that we are giving you 100% you know, of the best possible resiliency factors within the system, giving upwards of five nines availability. Never taking a downtime again is a, a, a line that we use quite a bit. And it's due to the fact that we can do non-disruptive firmware upgrades, hardware upgrades, capacity upgrades, and even performance upgrades with controllers without having the actual uh, uh, downtime or any sort of disruption to performance. And the last thing is we're transforming businesses around the performance. And that's kind of what we're going to dive into next. Now, when you look at technology as a whole, in essence, you have business transformation, which is technology changing the way that people do business. And then you have IT transformation, which is just swapping a lot of the uh, pain points that pip uh, people typically deal with. Uh, so the first one is the, the massive performance increases. This is really the driver for business transformation, making reports go faster, uh, making batch processes uh, get, come back quicker, or just getting quicker access to data uh, analytics and intelligence so that businesses can make better decisions. We have a ton of great examples in this space where people are not only able to generate more revenue, but we're able to actually derive intelligence around their data faster. Think about a typical report that let's say takes 24 hours to run. Now you can do it in one hour. How much new information you'd gather from the business or what new business lines you can open to potentially be able to generate more revenue with this faster access to information. We've seen uh, a bunch of great results in this and just reducing the latency dramatically for these types of workloads while also being able to incorporate higher densities of users in the same exact infrastructure, if not smaller. IT infrastructure uh, also had a massive transformation with these types of technologies. We shrunk form factors dramatically, in many cases 10x. We see environments that had 50 racks go down to you know, five. Uh, and think about just the infrastructure savings from an OpEx perspective with this type of uh, infrastructure transformation uh, in, in, in this type of uh, technology. We've seen vast transformation across all possible verticals that you can see out there. And really, it is applicable to every possible industry in the market, uh, whether it be uh, in financials with faster access to information so they can have great business analytics, to SaaS-based companies who want better user experience to keep people on their site longer so that they will spend more money or, or uh, utilize their systems more often. And also just even down to the smaller school districts who want to have VDI deployments that are much, much quicker, give their students a better experience, and are much, much more efficient than they were previously. 
We also decided, besides technology, to truly change the industry on the way storage is consumed. And we're going to talk about this in some of the other sections, uh, but I'll give you a kind of a high-level overview. First, we wanted to add in a love your storage guarantee. This was a pretty awesome concept because new technology sometimes is scary for the consumer to bring into their data center. We give you a 30-day love your storage money back guarantee in the event that you want to return the array. Within 30 days, no questions asked, you're able to do that and you can test it in whatever manner that you like. We also incorporated an all-inclusive software solution. So every single feature set we have today, as well as into the future, are included with every single pure storage solution. The last part to this, I think, is the one that uh, is the biggest transformation from a consumption perspective. We decided instead of going down the traditional line of increasing maintenance every, you know, every time you, know, you go beyond the three years and you get the increase in year four and five, we decided to flatline maintenance so that you're never bullied into swapping out hardware. And we're going to give you every three years brand new controllers so you can stay fresh with the product. Now the vision and strategy here is, is you never need to migrate your data, you never need to take a downtime, and your data in essence lives forever on that platform while the hardware can continually swap, never requiring you to take a forklift upgrade again and, and really be able to take advantage of great consumption <coughs> Uh, cost modeling around this, and we'll talk deeper in other sections. We'll also go through the Flash Array M here, which uh, is uh, our new hardware platform that incorporates a density factor that's pretty, pretty amazing to me. We do about 120 terabytes in that 3U that you see here uh, with that nice orange bezel. Um, this gives you 40 terabytes of raw, so at a 5 to 1 data reduction, we get about 120 terabytes of usable capacity, 300,000 IOPS at sub-millisecond response time at 9 gigabytes per second of sustained uh, read workload or throughput out of the box. What's also great about this is it uses less than a kilowatt of power to run that entire box. Did you say 40 terabytes raw? Yes. 120 usable? At 5 to 1 data reduction, yes. There is RAID and system overhead I assume there was something there because yep. the math didn't work, but okay. <laughs> Good question. Uh, so the, uh, we take about a 20% system overhead and uh, we, we take RAID out of the uh, usable capacity ahead of time. And then the remainder is then times by the data reduction factor. Great question. Any other questions, by the way? No, nope, don't be shy. Go ahead and uh, throw them out there as they come. Oh, trust us, we're not shy. <laughs> <laughs> we also made this thing ridiculously simple to install in your environment. Six cables, technically, you could get this thing installed. I think my personal high score or some of the folks within the SE team, uh, 16 minutes to get this thing up and running uh, from out of the box and up into the rack uh, and very minimal configurations <coughs> required, just IP addresses and you know getting it zoned and up and ready uh, for, for uh, connecting this to host. So ridiculously easy, think 45 minute installation, you're up and running. Pretty nuts in comparison to our traditional weeks or months uh, from a traditional disk-based architecture where you'd have to architect a lot of different uh, topics around that. We gave you modular scale. So this concept behind Forever Flash gives you the ability to incrementally increase performance or capacity independent of each other at any point in time with not buying the same capacity again. If you think about this concept with just Forever Flash, every three to five years, consumers are buying the exact same capacity, the exact same licenses, and probably some more, and new controllers and having to migrate data. We're giving you the ability to be able to actually stay on the exact same platform, never buy that same capacity again because you can sustain it long term on the exact same platform. And when you need a boost, only pay the additional incremental cost. So if you want to go from the M20 to the M50, you only pay the difference in price between those two models versus having to rebuy the exact same array once again. We incorporate a lot of different uh, value adds within Purity, our operating system, which you're here about today. Um, snapshots, cloning, as well as replication facilities with policy-driven engines to actually be able to create retention as well as trim policies uh, for how long <coughs> you want to retain snapshots, how often you want to take snapshots, <coughs> and then when you'd like to delete them. We take that exact same policy by extending that to secondary arrays as well as fan out and fan in type concepts so that you can actually replicate across multiple different environments in a highly efficient manner while giving you policies to actually be able to generate those journalistic type snapshots or replicas. Pure One we're going to cover today is our uh, cloud-based offering of which you can manage your entire pure storage infrastructure from one pane of glass, see every single one of your arrays from data reduction, latency IOPS, bandwidth, 
uh, as well as how full the systems are as a whole. See your entire replication solution. See when you're replicating, how much you're replicating. Even do future forecasting around capacity and performance trends in various different manners. So we're giving you all of these added values here, uh, all inclusive within any pure storage solution so that you can see not only great data analytics, but also manage an entire enterprise from that one single pane of glass. And there'll be more uh, from Brian Swartz after this. Uh, this is kind of a, a quick view of what this looks like. Each one of these cards here is a storage array. And so you can see stuff like uh, latency IOPS bandwidth as well as data reduction and uh, capacity. Yep, got a question? Give access uh, to partners uh, for the for the portal so they can <coughs> look what the customers yeah. are doing. Great question. Um, so we are working to get access to partners. We need to create a view so that they can see their subsequent. Uh, today, it's just customers that have access to this and obviously internal folks. Uh, but that is definitely something that's a big initiative for us. It is possible. You have to ask your SE to okay. enable it. Great question. Any other ones on Pier 1? Uh, Brian will be able to give you a bit of the uh, understanding of what we're doing around that space uh, to, to help enable. Uh, there are some variances to the types of partners depending upon the, the geo as well. Um, so he'll be able to answer some of those in this section. This one's the biggest and actually this is an old slide because I actually didn't buy this when I started Pure Storage in about uh, you know 2012. I thought this was again just one of those marketing gimmicks that every storage company says out there that we're <coughs> unable to uh, or we don't ever have to take a downtime on the system. Um, this has been delivered across three generations of hardware platforms, actually by myself personally, as well as many of the SEs in the field, to actually non-disruptively swap out any hardware component, upgrade any firmware, add any storage, and even deal with any sort of failures. And we're going to demonstrate some of those here for you today so you can see exactly how awesome this is to never truly have to take a downtime again. Well, even moving multiple generations of hardware. I have a couple of customers actually uh, within the area here that go from the FA320, the FA420, we did a 450 upgrade, and now going on the Flash Array M70, uh, all with no disruption whatsoever uh, to any sort of business processes uh, at all, which is pretty awesome. Okay, if, if I remember right, yep. the older products didn't have any internal storage in the controllers though. They did not. <clears throat> and so, yeah, you know, it's relatively easy to see how you can swap out controllers and swap out shelves, but the new box, yep. um, if I'm going <clears> to <throat> swap out the controllers to not the next version that'll be canisters that fit into this box, but the one 10 years from now that's going to be a new box, I got to either migrate the data or migrate the SSDs and take downtime for that, right? No. No. Uh, so the, the concept here, and without getting into futures and various other things, is data mobility within these arrays. We believe that you should be able to take advantage of densities within SSDs. And so the same technologies that allow consumers to take advantage of densities will allow you to, in essence, move data off of drives that would be inside chassis into expansion shelves, which would then be connected to the next chassis. So Chad, but, two questions. But, if, the... but if, I, if my needs fit in today's chassis... Yeah and my needs will fit into tomorrow's chassis, I need to get an external shelf to migrate through. You potentially would need an external shelf if you were at 100% of the use capacity within the system itself, then yes, uh, but we'd provide that to you in order to enable you to not have to take a downtime to be able to, to get over to the new chassis. Okay, so there's migration, but no downtime. Yep. That you will never need to take a downtime for moving hardware platforms, firmware upgrades. That is a requirement within engineering in order for this to go out the door. Oh, that's the kind of requirement that comes and bites you in the ass 10 years later. So uh, I think Cos will reinforce that. He's the one who says it on a, a daily basis. So I'm sure he'll, during the fireside chat, will reinforce that statement. There are two questions on Twitter. Uh, one is, is there two-factor authentication to the web portal? Uh, no, not today. It's, not today. A, it's a login for your support account. And the second question is, do you really want snapshots and SSDs array? I mean, from an expense perspective, it seems like it's fairly expensive. Are your snapshots space efficient? Probably is a better question. Yeah, so the snapshots, uh, it's actually called zero snap. It's, it's uh, only the metadata instance of it. And when you take a clone, it in essence is not using any additional capacity. Only the unique, unique data sets are actually utilized as uh, additional capacity. And that unique data is also deduped and compressed uh, alongside all the other data in the system. 
Um, this has uh, obviously been a big focus for us in making sure that customers are incredibly satisfied with our solutions. Uh, we uh, have had great marks in the Gartner Quadrant, which uh, two years in a row now we've been up in the leader quadrant uh, as, as uh, a leader in the completeness of vision and also a leader within the uh, um, ability to execute. Uh, most recently, we've certified our, our net promoter score, and so we're in the, the 79 range, which is vastly higher than anybody that's in infrastructure today. Typically, most folks around the, the uh, mid to high 20s, uh, so we're very excited about that. We've also seen uh, uh, you know, many, many customers in the Fortune 500 pick Pure Storage as a solution for their infrastructure uh, as a whole.